and this is no time to dun father for a raise in your allowance, new clothes, or argue about other financial matters. Wait a minute. Ho hold up. So in other words, this is not the time to tell Papa that the payday loan check bounced or mention that the PSLF public service loan forgiveness application you had applied for got denied. This is not the time to tell him that the electric battery on the car needs replacing at eight grand or that your Tesla is not starting. Good evening, family. I decided this Wednesday evening to do something a little different. You see, I was pondering life as I know it, and I realized that there is so much negativity out there about dysfunctional families, bankrupt individuals, households, repossessed vehicles, student debt that we can't afford, car payments we bought too much of, too much house, pets that we can't pay for their teeth repair. And then it dawned on me, what would happen if we just step back to a simpler time? A time when these sorts of things just didn't exist, you know, all this consumer debt problem, or at least that's what we've been told. So we are going to look at a black and white film. As you can see, I've stepped into the occasion, including my uh, red lipstick. Yes, it really is red. And um, we're going to look at a television show on the YouTube channel, Old time TV that has approximately 272,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe to their channel. And for academic and educational purposes, more so reflection than anything else, we're going to look at a 1950s instructional video, a date with your family. And I thought, let's go back to the times when it was simple. Of course, we are going to ignore civil rights. We're going to ignore, um, oh, I don't know, women's issues, but that, that's nothing where just the simplicity of living is concerned. And yes, it applies to consumer debt. How? Well, we'll find out as we watch this video. Let's do it. This boy and girl coming home from school look quite content with life. And why not? They're looking forward to an important date, dinner at home with the family. The boy and girl, lest they have no names. Now, I want to know, when was the last time you were looking forward to a dinner date with your family without the iPhone, without the Android, without the smartwatch, just you and your family? And remember, this video can be appreciated by people of all ages. What's the matter? Doesn't that sound exciting to you? Oh, just, just a mile a minute thrill. Well, to them, it's a special occasion, as it has been ever since they sat down to... Oh, did he just take his finger and lick it off? Oh, wait, just a minute, just a minute. The, 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 this is the 1950s, yes. Everything is perfect in this time period, at least in this video, okay? So we just, we're just going to take the video, family. All right, so he just stuck his finger in the video, which I'm sure just broke all food regulation laws, but that doesn't matter. Dinner in high chairs. Why should they feel that way about something you take so completely for granted? Well, let's see if we can find out. Hey, I got my apron on, family. I got my apron, I got my lipstick, and, 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 I, and I have my um, Swarovski glasses because they got kind of a semi-cat look. I thought it was fitting for the occasion. First of all, daughter has changed from school clothes to something more festive. Dressing a little makes her feel and consequently look more charming. Even the table takes on a spec. Now, I do remember growing up, we had school clothes, and then we had outdoor play clothes, church clothes, indoor play clothes, and my mother was a 1950s child, as I'm 57. Um, so she looks more charming. Maybe that's why my ex-husband left me. I didn't look charming when he got home. <laughs> Special air. Mother, too, changes from her daytime clothes. The, the intensity of the knitting is to be admired. Check out that intensity women of this family seem to feel that they owe it to the men of the family to look relaxed, rested, and attractive at dinner time. 
that we didn't just hear that. Oh wait, hold on. This is the nineteen. This this is the time when consumer debt was not the problem, and consumer debt was certainly not a woman's problem. So she is relaxing on the couch because it is her duty and the duty of her younger daughter, who looks about she's high school aged, maybe getting ready to enter college, um, to look relaxed for the men of their family. So ladies, figure out what you can do this evening to re relax for your family. Is your hair done? Have you showered? Did you rebrush your teeth? Is your rouge on correctly? J just checking. And don't forget to keep up on your knitting skills. That could be very important for the, what is it, a annual, the annual bazaar during Christmas time. Gotta knit those toaster covers. Brother is spending an hour before dinner catching up on his homework. You don't say. I'm a teacher. If I can get my students to do any homework, I give myself a reward for it. Oh, he's sitting there at a table. Now, you notice, family? We have no issues right now. Do you see a cell phone buzzing away? A computer to distract him with the latest Netflix or TikTok. We don't see any of this stuff, right? The studiousness. This helps them forget about consumer debt. We don't have money problems in this period because everybody is busy looking for a dinner date with their family. He has plans evening. Perhaps that explains telephone call. But he won't spend a lot of time on the phone either. When there are several members of the family to be considered, it is not a good idea for one member to monopolize the phone. But it's more fun when your siblings are on the phone and you can sneak into the other room, pick up the phone, and hear the entire phone call, for those of us that are old enough to do that. And then there's the classic, get off the phone, I'm on it still. Well, hurry up, I'll take as long as I want. Ah, we remember those days. And of course, do you remember the really long cord? Okay, and you really felt like, you, you know, the phone cord that goes from the phone handle to the wall and you knew you had elevated yourself in life when the phone cord was long enough you could turn and wrap yourself around it and back again ah yes or when you could walk into another room and the cord was long enough oh those were the days of simplicity and it is never good to allow telephone conversations to interfere with studies Is that rule followed today? I don't think so. Hmm, is it that late? Dad will be here any minute. Better tell Mother she's needed in the kitchen. When was the last time you held hands with your mother to skip your way to the kitchen, ladies? Any Anybody? Anybody ever held their hand with their parent? I mean, look at how happy they look. There ain't a consumer debt problem in this entire film. Life is so good in the 1950s, at least in this video it is. But anybody ever held your hand like that? When my mother was telling me it was ready for dinner, it was usually her screaming over at the balcony, something like, it's time, get up here. Or the ever dreaded, it's your turn to cook. <laughs> we each had to spend a night cooking for our family. And, you know, she'd put out the grocery list, right? Well, actually, she would put up the, the paper for the grocery list. You were supposed to write your groceries on it, and then she would go and get it. God help you, if you didn't put your ingredients down that you needed before she went to some big box store like Costco, before Costco was invented, all right? A few nights, we sat around and we ate peanut butter sandwiches because the sibling in charge of cooking dinner didn't put anything down. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was not one to be messed with when she said, put down the ingredients that you need. Brother notices the time and realizes that he must put things in order and clean himself up in time for dinner. How many of you guys clean yourself up in time for dinner? Let's be honest, how many of you guys even wash your hands before you eat? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Now, I do. Working in a middle school, my hands, I just feel so grubby. You know, my hands do, okay? Um, I, I wash my hands a lot, and I even bring my own special soap from Bath and Body Works because the school soap is too rough on my cuticles. Yeah, but really, in everyday life, how many of you guys really still wash up for dinner? Hello there. Junior is always in a hurry. 
particularly for dinner. But first, there's a cleanup job to do on this young man. Brother takes it upon himself to help share Junior's responsibility for keeping their room in good order. How does the kid who's barely six or five get the same size bed as the high school brother? Just a thought. And keeping Junior in good order, too. Punctuality is stressed in this household. By that I mean hair is combed and faces and hands scrubbed before the boys come to the table so they won't delay the meal. That the women have cooked and are, have been busy looking good all day so they can show their men that they respect them. Now mother and daughter put the finishing touches on the dinner. Mother's eyeing that salad dressing like something just landed in it, but she's not quite sure what. <laughs> Father, too, looks forward to this date with the family. Oh, Papa is home. He has had a hard day at the office, and in his briefcase are some contracts which must be looked over tonight. But in the meantime, he will relax at dinner with those he loves. How many of you men out there come home from a hard day's labor in a uh, suit and tie, practically dressed for a wedding. I know it's not a tuxedo, but the formality is there. A simple centerpiece made from some flowers which grow in the backyard is another of daughter's contributions to the dinner. Now I have to admit, the hutch in the back, that's awesome. But it takes up a little too much room, so she moves it to the sideboard. These boys greet their dad as though they are genuinely glad to see him. As though they are genu gen genuinely glad to see him. Um, fathers out there, do, do your boys greet you like this? They're genuinely glad to see you. I'm not saying they're not happy to see you. But l look, at the un look at the eye contact here, okay? Our, our generation today is probably now warped with eye contact because all they do is stare at their cell phones and stuff. But look at the look at the smile on the boy's face. Remember, they don't have names. That's the boy's face. And look at look, look at Papa. Papa has got a friendly pat on the shoulder for little Junior here. Spank and clean out of the shower he is because his big brother cleaned them all up. You know, this is such a wonderful time period. No money worries, no nothing as though they had really missed being away from him during the day and are anxious to talk to him. As though they had really missed being away from him during the day and are anxious to talk to him. Okay. This is the time for pleasant discussion in a thoroughly relaxed mood. They don't pick this time of the day to spring unpleasant surprises on Dad. If they have disagreeable news, they'll postpone the discussion until another time. And this is no time to dun father for a raise in your allowance, new clothes, or argue about other financial matters. Wait a minute. Ho hold up. So in other words, this is not the time to tell Papa that the payday loan check bounced or mention that the PSLF public service loan forgiveness application you had applied for got denied. This is not the time to tell him that the electric battery on the car needs replacing at eight grand or that your Tesla is not starting. I got it. Note to self, no bad news to Papa before dinner and preferably after dinner either while he's digesting. Oh, look at the smile on this face. Children, the next time, even though this isn't really a kid's channel, but should, should you still be living with your parents, I want you to sit down and I want you to do the happy smile to your parents. I guarantee you, you will creep them out. They're going to look at you like, it's either what do you want or stop doing that. You're scaring me. Oh, here they are getting ready to admire the women of the family and how they've all gussied up for dinner. Ah, dinner time. Yes, mother. 
Junior remembered to clean up. Take a look at this picture, family. Is this you? Is this your parents? You know, they look like they're getting ready to skip off to a scene of the Wizard of Oz. Before that, they knew that the Wicked Rich really is real. <laughs> Have your parents ever done this? Oh, heck, I think in my entire time before my parents got divorced, I honestly can barely even remember my parents giving each other a kiss, much less holding hands, looking like they're skipping off into the sunset. Think to yourself, is this you, family, today? Or are you consumed with debt problems, money worries? And the gentle hand on the back, yes. Brother seats Junior. Then helps mother to her chair as he would his best girl. Good God, you'd think everybody was on a date here. Well, it is called the date with your family, 1950s. And yes, this is a real instructional film. So the, you know, you know, you might be hearing a little buzz in the background, scratchy step. That, that's from the film. Told you this is the real deal. My parents never did that for me. Put in the comments if your family ever sat down like this. Did any of your families ever sit down like this for dinner? Well, the dinner date has begun, and they're all happy about it. These fake smiles are killing me. Many families throughout the country observe the custom of saying grace at mealtime. And you'd always know there's one person doing this, closing their eyes and going, is everybody else's eyes closed? <laughs> it is always treated with reverence and respect. You gotta love the dishware, folks. I'm serious. I, I mean, the hutch, the dishware, it's rocking. Napkins on the lap, the family awaits service. I don't even think I own napkins. I, I think I might. I might. They're the disposable ones. They converse pleasantly while Dad serves. I said pleasantly, for that is the keynote at dinner time. It is not only good manners, but good sense. Again, it is not to dis discuss the bounce check and your payday loan um, overdraft. Pleasant, unemotional conversation helps digestion. Unemotional conversation. Debt brings our emotions out. We don't want that. So conversation must be unemotional. There are no problems. Father serves mother first, then daughter, then the boys. Don't worry, fellas, you won't get left. Help cut your meat, Junior? Of course. Nobody in this whole video has a name. That's kind of freaky, family. By example, older children can teach younger ones good table manners. For those of you that ever read the book, The Giver, okay, where there's a perfect community, this, this video would be a candidate to represent the book, The Giver. No one starts eating until father has served himself. Always wait for the hostess, in this case mother, to begin eating before you start. You guys do that in your family? I, how many of you even sit around a dinner table? I bet half of y'all eat on the couch. <laughs> and I confess, you know, I sometimes eat in bed too. Actually, a lot. <laughs> it's just me. Let father and mother guide the conversational trend if they desire. After all, they made all this possible and may want to talk over their day with each other. Tell mother how good the food is. Maybe sis rates a compliment too. It makes them want to continue pleasing you. How many of you feel like you're gonna have to take a Maalox after this? Well, all this is good general advice, but there are some specific don'ts. Maybe the family will demonstrate for us. Don't monopolize the conversation and go on and on without stopping. 
Nothing destroys the charm of a meal more quickly. To say that the rest of the group is bored would be a gross understatement. Don't discuss unpleasant topics such as gruesome sights or sounds. Or consumer debt. Or unpleasant occurrences. This Repetitive consumer debt. This is a time of pleasure, of charm and relaxation, remember? Don't make unkind comparisons about your stand of living. The dinner table is no place for discontent. It makes dad and mother uncomfortable and unhappy. Again, nobody has names here. I'm telling you, the book, The Giver, perfect community. They're all identified by numbers. Don't insult your brother or sister with offensive remarks about friends. Or stick their events on Snapchat, TikTok, and Instagram. Arguments, harsh words, mean tension and distress for everyone. Do remember simply this. Treat the other members of your family with the same respect and cordiality you would show your most treasured friend outside the family circle. This does not mean you should be stiff or formal. With your own family, you can relax. If this is relaxed with your family, I don't want to see what stiff and formal looks like from the 1950s. Be yourself. Just be sure it's your best self because your worst self may be headed to bankruptcy court. No one wants to know about that. This is better. Now things are on an even keel again. And you know why we have people in debt? Because nobody can actually discuss problems. Everybody that um, feels uncomfortable, you know, facing their debt, what do we do? We put on a face, I've done it too, Okay, we put on a face like everything is just perfect. We can ignore our debt. We can ignore our money problems because if we just ignore them, then maybe perhaps they'll go away or if nothing else, it gives us something else to focus on. This is like one big video of self-denial. Now we're ready for dessert. Hey, but at least it comes with dessert. Most families don't have maids, so mother needs help with the serving from the kitchen. Isn't the mother the um, bona fide maid? Son says mother has done enough. Watch him play butler. Oh, be still my heart. He took a plate or two to the kitchen. That's wonderful. The removal of dishes from the main course and the serving of dessert set the stage for the conclusion of a thoroughly pleasant meal. Oh good, now she's got her fingers in the cake. Can nobody in the 50s make a cake without sticking their fingertips in it? Do you begin to see now how a date with your family can be a truly special occasion? Do you know why brother and sister looked forward to the evening? Because they were hoping for a night without sticky finger cake? When the dinner hour at home is treated with a certain amount of graciousness and ceremony, it can be memorable. I hear you on that. There is no family so poor, but that the evening meal can be eaten in an atmosphere of warmth and gentleness. I would say something about the minorities, perhaps what they were going through at this time, but I digress. <laughs> there is no family so busy, but that it can come together in the evening for a dinner date which will give its members something to look back upon with happiness all their days. Well, family, with all that said, my time is up. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've had a moment at the spa. A little denial sometimes is good for us. Don't forget to subscribe. And my time is up. 
and so is yours. Back to regular programming later this week. Good night, everyone.